Welcome back everyone to the Xamarin Show, Snack Pack Edition. I'm your host, James Montemagno, and today we're gonna to take a look at how easy it is to get started with the brand new preview editions of Visual Studio 2017. Now, if you've been following along at home, once you've installed Visual Studio 2017, uh, you have additional updates that occur, which uh, bring up the Visual Studio Updater. What's really nice there is that with a single click, you can modify your existing installations or update your existing installations, so the latest stable versions of Visual Studio 2017. Now, if you're like me and like to get new features faster, you usually want to install preview editions of Visual Studio uh, and the other workloads that are associated with it. For instance, with the brand new version of Visual Studio 2017, version 15.4 uh, preview, you actually have the Xamarin Live Player built right in and a bunch of awesome new features across the board. Now in the past, you've had to install Visual Studio and then install a preview edition on top of it. And then, you know, you really had like a weird development setup. But with the brand new Visual Studio 2017 preview installers, you can actually run Visual Studios side by side, which is super cool. So let's actually hop over to my surface here and actually see what that means. So here I go to visualstudio.com slash preview, and this shows me a little bit about how to get early access to Visual Studio Preview. Uh, it even gives me links directly to the release notes so I can keep up to date with the latest versions and tells me exactly what's, uh, what it means to be a preview edition. So mostly for early adopters that want to try out new updates, get more frequent builds, and most importantly, side by side. And in fact, you're seeing both icons, the stable version and then the preview version that has these little squigglies in there, which look really cool. And in fact, you can see that I've already installed those. So if I actually uh, zoom in here, let me go ahead and zoom in. Oops. There we go. We can see that I actually have these two versions installed side by side. So when I hover over, I have Visual Studio and then I have Visual Studio 2017 Preview. So how I got that was I was able to come up and actually download a specific version uh, such as Enterprise. So whatever version uh, you have, it'll be a very quick download. So there we go, I'll just download it to my desktop and I can go ahead and click and run the Visual Studio 2017 preview installer. So here it's gonna tell me a little bit about it. And what's nice is it's gonna look very familiar to the existing preview uh, installer that you may have already had uh, there. So what I'm seeing here is that I've gone ahead and already installed the Visual Studio uh, 2017 preview. I can come in and I can actually modify or uninstall or do anything here and Visual Studio uh, 2017 Enterprise Edition. So I actually have both versions side by side and they're sandboxed that way. And in fact, if I go and modify my workloads, you can actually install different workloads for the preview edition versus the standard edition. So here I've just installed Windows, UWP, .NET, and Xamarin. So that's all that's been installed uh, along with uh, the .NET Core tooling here. So what's nice is that I've only installed a few here. If I go into my normal Visual Studio uh, 2017 install, what we're gonna see is I've installed a whole bunch of other workloads too. I've installed the ASP.NET, the Azure workloads, the SQL Server, of course the Xamarin workload, and the Visual Studio extensions workload there. So that way my normal day-to-day -day Visual Studio 2017 is all ready for me to go, and then I just wanna install and try the latest versions uh, of Visual Studio there. Now, when you go to install this for the first time, you'll actually see the different versions um, of, um, enabled, and you can just hit install, and then pick the workloads. So since I've already installed them to save time, it's already installed, but it'll be the same workload that you are, are familiar to. Now the difference here is if I go ahead and launch the preview edition, you'll see it says preview up top. Um, and when it launches, we're gonna see that it launches down here on the bottom with that specific version. I can then of course launch the stable version, uh, Visual Studio 2017. There we go. I'm still logged in with the same uh, user account, login, everything like that that I'm used to. The only difference that we'll see here side by side is that in one instance we see preview up top, in the other one we don't. Um, and then the icons are also different in the top left. So if I actually um, take a look up here, we can see the difference of the icons of the preview and it very um, clearly says Visual Studio Preview right there. Now this is great because like I said, you can get the latest versions 
and features to try them out on your machine without having to um, mess around with your actual uh, current development setup at all. So really, it's just that easy as going to visualstudio.com uh, slash preview. You can read some of the release notes, such as our Visual Studio 2017 version 15.4 preview that just shipped, that has .NET Standard 2.0 support, brand new uh, Xamarin Live Player capabilities, and a lot more built right in. So check that out. I'll put all the links in the show notes below. So go get started playing around with the brand new Visual Studio 2017 preview editions. Give us some feedback on all those awesome new features packed right in. And until next time, I'm James Montemagno. This has been The Xamarin Show. And make sure you subscribe in whichever corner that I still can't figure out that subscribe button is to get the latest uh, updates when new episodes of The Xamarin Show are released. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.